It's now Monday the 6th of November 2023 and it's eight weeks today. It's my target race, the Cleethorpes 10K. Yes, welcome back to the, the series, guys. Can I regain my fitness for my target race, the uh, Cleethorpes 10K on uh, the 1st of January 2024? Uh, if you didn't see the uh, the last time that um, I um, did the first uh, video on the series, uh, I'll put the link up uh, up here. I've uh, set myself a an ambitious target uh, to complete the race in uh, 49 minutes, and I'm doing a uh, Garmin coach plan. It's a uh, beautiful morning here um, down on the canal. Um, the sun is just coming up now. It's a beautiful morning. Look at that sunrise. Half past seven in the morning. What a beautiful day. And a great place to run. an easy jog along the canal done for 50 minutes keeping in my uh, heart rate zone 2 so it's really nice along the canal uh, it's great here no traffic of course and uh, it's just nobody about at this time in the morning except perhaps one or two people walking the dogs so uh, it's one of my favorite places to run um, have you got a favorite place to run uh, I'd be interested uh, to know, is there some uh, scenic spot that you like running in or do you just like running in the city? Drop us a uh, comment in the uh, box below. I'd be very interested to know uh, what's your favourite place to run. Don't forget uh, to give this video a uh, thumbs up guys, uh, I really appreciate it. And if you could su subscribe to the channel, it's entirely free. You'll, uh, you'll just get notified when I uh, upload another uh, video to YouTube. Thanks guys, that's much appreciated. Yes, I'm uh, 66 next month and I'm finding it uh, really difficult to try and get back um, the fitness to where I was seven months ago. Uh, before I got this uh, stress fracture of my calcaneus and uh, suffering with uh, Achilles tendonitis. Um, let me know guys also if you've had a long term injury and you're struggling to get back uh, and is age a problem for you um, like me? Yeah, running down here on the canal, it's uh, on the trails, it's a lot kinder to your uh, feet than uh, running on tarmac. Um, really really enjoy it down here um, obviously it's great if you can run on different uh, types of surfaces uh, it does uh, it does help um, and obviously um, uh, so your joints will suffer if you keep running on tarmac so uh, yeah try and vary the uh, surfaces that you do run on yeah, I'm going back home now guys and uh, I'll give you an update of all the activities I've been doing in the last 12 days since my last video. Um, so uh, I'll see you in a bit, minute when I get back inside. Hi guys, I'm back inside now. Just wanted to give you a quick review of uh, the last 12 days of my training since I did that uh, 
Gold Pace repeats on the 25th of October. If you've not seen uh, what I did on uh, the 25th of October, obviously look back at the uh, the last video in the series. And uh, on the next day, on the on the Thursday, uh, I went to the uh, local leisure centre. Uh, I'll just give you a glimpse of where I actually go and train. Yeah, this is where I go for a uh, swim and do some gym work. I was down there at uh, six o'clock in the gym. I did some uh, strength and conditioning uh, exercises. Um, so there was various ones that I did. There was uh, dumbbell front front squat, uh, dumbbell forward lunges. Dumbbell step ups. And then I did some um, dead uh, lifts uh, with a barbell. And uh, I did some uh, barbell squats. And also did some uh, Russian twists. I did that for about an hour and then I went to, went for a swim and I did uh, my usual mile swim, 1600 metres in the pool. So it was a complete day off, uh, uh, off swimming and uh, gym work. I didn't do any running on Thursday the 26th of October. Yeah, and then on uh, on Friday the 27th of October, it was a nice, easy uh, 10k run. It took me about uh, 55 minutes. Um, it was a low heart rate uh, run, so um, it was about roughly 20% uh, in my zone 1 heart rate and 80% in my uh, zone 2 heart rate. Yeah, Saturday the, uh, the 28th, I had a complete day of rest, so I didn't do um, any activities on uh, Saturday the 28th. Um, I just uh, volunteered down at my uh, local park run. Um, which is um, just uh, one mile north of Gainsborough and uh, there I helped out um, doing various volunteer roles. I uh, did the first time uh, briefing for the uh, for the day um, which I really really enjoy and it was our um, Halloween themed event um, so it was really really good. Um, there was lots, lots of spooky things uh, going on in the background as you can probably see. To get me uh, ready for my uh, uh, 10k race on the 1st of January, um, I did enter a race, a 10k race, on the uh, Sunday, the 28th of October. It was a really last minute decision. Um, I just needed some preparation because uh, I know it was eight weeks to go for my race. So I just wanted to test myself out, see what sort of uh, fitness uh, I was in and um, I really enjoyed it. It was uh, the Brig uh, Poppy 10k. Um, it was a really great day out. Took me time and uh, I did it in uh, about 55 minutes 34. Um, so it was really really good. There was a, uh, a great atmosphere on the day and um, really really enjoyable. I'll um, put the link to it uh, up above if you've not uh, seen that video. Uh, but um, uh, it was a fantastic day and I really, really enjoyed it. So it was uh, one to do off spec and at uh, the last minute. Yeah, so Tuesday the 31st, um, that was a non-run day. Uh, so it was back in the gym again to do some uh, strength and conditioning with the lower body. Uh, obviously the uh, Russian twists, um, dumbbells, front squats, backward lunges, uh, front squat, um, side squat. So yeah, there's quite a lot to do there. So I spent an hour in the gym and then uh, I did another uh, hour swim 
um, in the swimming pool straight afterwards. Yeah, on uh, Wednesday the uh, the first of November, then uh, it was um, just to get trying to get some extra miles in the legs. So I did um, about thirteen and a half uh, k run. Took me about uh, an hour and twenty. Just keeping in my uh, low heart rate zone, zone, uh, zone two, uh, in the fat burning zone. Yeah, so uh, Thursday the second of November, it was also that was a non run day. But I did uh, some cross training again. I was back uh, down at the ledger centre uh, with an hour's um, cross training. So I did uh, strength and conditioning again in the lower body. But uh, after my, my hour in the gym, I did uh, 45 minutes on the uh, uh, in a spin bike class. Yeah, so then on um, Friday the 3rd of November, it was a... Uh, a stride session so that involved a 15 minute warm up then it was um, 12 times 20 seconds strides with a 45 second uh, recovery in between each uh, 20 seconds uh, then on Saturday the 4th of November just before I was um, volunteering for part run uh, I did a trail run Round our local uh, park run site. It's all off road. It's down at um, Thonic Lane uh, Farm, um, which is just north of Gainsborough. So uh, I did a uh, 5k in my trail shoes off road. Really enjoyed it. Nice and easy. Zone two. Finally, yesterday, um, which was uh, Sunday the fifth uh, of uh, November, on fine night. I had to do some uh, goal pace repeats once again, but this time it was um, 50 minute warm up, then it was uh, 10 minutes at uh, my goal 10k pace, which um, is roughly about 5 kilometers per hour. I was just outside that uh, for that uh, 10 minutes. I think I did about uh, 5 10 uh, uh, kilometer per hour pace. Um, then it was a um, five minute jog recovery and then it was um, three times uh, five minutes at uh, 10k pace uh, with a uh, three minute jog recovery between each five minutes 10k pace. Uh, so I did those roughly about 5.15 per kilometre. So that brings you up to uh, up to speed with my training for uh, for the uh, last 12 days. Um, obviously, this Garmin coach plan is really working well. I, I feel fitter every day. Um, so hopefully uh, come the 1st of January, I'll be on that start line feeling very confident that I can uh, execute the plan and get that um, 49 minutes uh, in the bag. Really appreciate you watching this video, guys. Don't forget, uh, just give this uh, this video a like. I really appreciate it. Think about subscribing if you've not uh, already done so. Uh, if you want to follow me, this old guy of nearly 66.